When it comes to veterans' health care reform, it's hard to separate the noise from the truth. So DAV is setting the record straight. Some politicians, political and veterans groups, have suggested the way to fix the VA is to simply let the money follow the veteran. So why is this such a bad idea, and how could it possibly hurt veterans? At first glance, giving veterans a voucher or card to pay for health care whenever and wherever they choose may sound like a good idea. But the private sector is ill-prepared to accept millions of veterans into their practices without creating lengthy delays for care, and most of these medical professionals lack the expertise and experience treating veterans as compared to the full-time health professionals working at VA. Additionally, if veterans were to use cards or vouchers to find their own care in the community, there would be no single entity accountable for ensuring the quality and coordination of their care. This would subject veterans to overtreatment or undertreatment of their conditions and ultimately poor health care outcomes. So what's a better solution? Instead of rushing to implement a new voucher system that may cause more problems and delays, we must increase access to care. And VA needs to create coordinated local veterans health care networks to ensure veterans have new options for treatment, empowering veterans and their physicians to choose the best course of treatment available within their community, whether that's at VA or, if needed, through a community provider. Don't get lost in the noise. Learn more and get involved in the effort to reform veterans' health care at dav.org slash setting the record straight.